Johnny English is back. Yes. What was the decision making process? Why did you decide to bring him back? Uh, because we liked, I liked the character, uh, and I thought that there was another movie in him. Uh, and you know, the best reason for making any sequel is because you feel as though you can do it better, or at least more differently to how you did it the first time. Uh, and I think that's what we've done. And I think, and you know, it's a you know, rather sweetly, Universal Studios decided to give us more money to spend. It's always nice to so, have more money. Yeah, we had more money, so we were able to make it bigger, more international, a bit more glamorous, uh, sort of closer to a James Bond movie. Um, and, and we wanted actually to make it uh, just a bit, you know, the narrative and the plot a bit more believable, a bit more serious, rather than, in many ways, rather than a spy spoof, which is what I think the first John English movie right. was more. This is a little bit more towards a comedy thriller, you, you, know, okay. you, you know, where the, where the plot you're actually quite interested in and you'd quite like Johnny English to succeed in his and his mission not just you know fall over in a minute and and make us laugh again welcome to the toy cupboard I will leave you my number you know Pat Pat Quatermain the man himself English Please, don't get up. Uh, no chance of that. Lost them, testing the B6 exploding brogues. Oh, I'm so sorry. How are you? Have to be this one, I'm afraid. Lost this to the D10 doorbell. <laughs> ah. Well, it's great to see what's left of you. Ah, this is rather good fun, actually. Don't! Here's what you'll be taking to Hong Kong. Ah, yes. Uh, satellite receiver, tracking device, uh, Semtex chewing gum. Ah, uh, now, what did I just say? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, what is it about spy movies? Because they, they never get old. Whether you take no. them seriously or you have fun with them, for some reason, they just do not get old. People love them. Why? No, 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 people love them. Well, because they're educated in them and they're fun. You know, they're glamorous and... Uh, uh, you know, they're always engaging, and and things feel important in spy movies. That you know, what you know, it's always about it's always about world domination, isn't it? Or the end of the world, or something terrible is going to happen if the if the protagonist doesn't succeed right. <laughs> on his mission. And of course, that's even, and it's very good for a serious movie, but it's also very good for a comedy movie because if you, you know, the sense of seriousness and the sense of importance about the world and the plot and the mission means that if you've got a guy in there who's not really qualified <laughs> to fulfill the role that he... That exactly, he, some things are going to go wrong. ...that he's playing, then you know that things are going to go wrong. And when they go wrong, they could mean they could have serious consequences. Well, that's true. Uh, I like that. I, yeah. I, like, I like the way you, you set that yeah. up. Now, were you a big fan of the Bond movies, you know, growing uh, up? Yes. Yes, like most children, you know, you yearn to be in the world of James Bond. And, of course, it appealed to me very much because, you know, my background, believe it or not, is in engineering and electrical okay. and electronic engineer. So that's what I am by training. And cars are my world, you know, motor cars and motor racing are my hobbies. And in spy movies, there's always action, there's always cars, there's always guns, and all those things I always had a lot of interest in. So, you know, it, it wasn't difficult to want to move in that world. However, I knew that I would never be cast as James Bond. So, I so that was your reality. You yeah, knew so that was a reality. You knew yeah, what yeah. you were dealing with. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I knew what was not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. so then, so which is why it's been quite fun to create a comic character that can still exist in the same world because you can still have the cars and well, the girls exactly, and, right. and, and same and setup, else. same well, premise, well, exactly, same, same gadgets, same, same benefits. Uh, same world. It's just that, it, that you know that it's comedy rather than tragedy. That's all. Now, what would you say is one of your favorite James Bond movies? Uh, uh, probably Goldfinger, I think. Probably uh, from Russia with Love. I liked, you know, these are these 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 are the older ones. But I liked uh, Casino Royale. I liked the first new Daniel Craig yeah, movie. Daniel Craig, yeah, uh, the reboot, uh, so I, to speak, or the rebirth. Or yeah, yeah, the reborn. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah sorry, James, James Bond reborn. If James Bond never dies. <laughs> neither does, neither, neither yeah, does Johnny English. No, right? no, no, no. <laughs> I know, no, Johnny English must never die. <laughs> right. no. So now here's here's the deal with comedy, like. Are you born funny, or is it something you learn when it comes to comedy? Um, well, it's a bit of both, but I think it's mainly what you're born with. Yeah, but whatever you're born with, you've got to want to use and exploit. You know, you've got to have the luck, or you've got to have the passion, or the inspiration to make use of whatever you were born with. Okay. You, know, you know, so it is a combination of the two. And about opportunities, actually, I think. You know, sometimes the older I get, the more I realize how lucky I've been. You know, when you're young and you have success, you don't think about luck. 
you know, you just think, well, I'm, you know, I'm young, I'm cool, I've had success, I've worked hard, I deserve this, you know, is what you think. Whereas I think as you get older, you think, God, I was lucky, you know, to be in that place at that time and to be able to exploit, you know, the talents that okay. I have in the, in the way that I have. So um, I think it's mainly something you're born with, but you've got to learn a lot along the way. You've got to be inspired. In the end, you've got to have heroes and people you want to follow and, and, and people you want to imitate. Now, what's harder for you, the physical aspect of comedy or the timing? Well, timing is always a challenge, but you try not to think about timing because timing, okay. timing is supposed to be instinctive and natural. And if you start thinking about when am I going to say this, you know, when am I going to say this line, then you're not going to say it in the, at the right time or in the right way. But if you just let it flow, just let your instincts, you know, trust your instinct. That was, that was you know, follow your instinct was what, you know, one of the first things I, I was ever told uh, when I started working in television as a student. Um, and I've just tried to follow that. But uh, physically, you know, I'm a physical performer, a visual performer at least. I'm not very athletic, I believe it or not. I'm quite, I'm quite flexible. I'm quite bendy, but I'm not. I'm not <laughs> but I'm not very athletic. You know, I've never been any good at any sport. Well, you're good at comedy. So, which character are we going to see next? Uh, I don't know. There'll be some pressure, I think, because this John English movie has been very successful so far. So, if it can, if it continues to be successful, they'll probably want another John English movie. Um, but I don't know. You know, as you get older, you've got to think, you know, more carefully about the kind of characters that you play. Not because you're you're worried about yourself, you know, physically falling apart. Just because I think. I think audiences want to see you in a different way as you get older. You've got to, you've got to change your, the tone of your comedy, I think, as you get older. So I'll be thinking about that. Thanks a lot. It was okay. a pleasure. Okay, thank you Enjoy very much. Your work.